Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest in Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're located in Frederick, Colorado. It's about 30 minutes north of Denver, right off I-25. We have a really large selection of new and used trailers. We, for our new trailers, we carry Cimarron's and Logan's, and then for our used trailers, we get anything in on trade, and there's certain trailers like our Cimarron's that we'll actually buy outright. So if you're looking for a wide variety of trailers, we've probably got them here. So this trailer behind me is actually one that has already been purchased by a customer. This one was actually built by one of my favorite customers. Um, they actually build a lot of trailers with us. They're always kind of changing up their program, how many horses they need to haul, always looking to build a better trailer and what better trailer to do it in than a Cimarron. So our Cimarron trailers are completely customizable trailers. So every single Cimarron you see here on the lot is actually one that we personally spec'd out. So even our bumper pulls, we picked whether we wanted a swing out, a folding rear tack, uh, if we wanted to carpet the partition wall, there's a lot of standard features on these Cimarron's that are really, really great features, but you can really build them however you want. So if you're willing to wait just a little bit longer for a trailer and have it exactly how you want, just like this one behind me, then we can spec one out to order just for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. This is, uh, I think, trailer number three on the revision list for this runaround trailer. And each time we do this trailer, we try and make it a little more streamlined. What we're trying to aim for on this trailer is something that pulls really well down the road, is nice and short on the floor, and can haul a lot of really nice horses. So there's a couple things that we did to make this trailer a really nice trailer to pull behind your truck. The first thing you'll see here is this V-nose. Um, this V-nose is something that we do on a lot of our trailers. You'll see it on um, some of our, our personal trailers, as well as a lot of customers that do a lot of highway miles, want a little more turning radius. They love this V-nose. There's a couple drawbacks to the V-nose, and the main thing is that you miss out on storage. And if you don't go extra tall, we have a lot of structure, additional structure in this V-nose, so window, windows are a little bit harder to place in there. However, we've done a couple back-to-back -back tests with very similar trailers, one with a standard taper and one with a V-nose, and you do get better fuel economy on your vehicle pulling this, this V-nose. Um, some other things people like about it is that you can turn a lot tighter on this trailer because you're not gonna get into the back of your pickup with this nose. It allows you to get in and out of tight spaces uh, which is one of the things we were trying to accomplish on this runaround without having to worry about doing a million point turns. Um, another thing that they did on this trailer to make it an extremely good pulling trailer is that we didn't make it extremely tall and wide. Uh, one of his last trailers that he had, it was a little bit heavier to pull. It was eight foot wide, a little bit taller, seven four tall. And he missed having the really streamlined 7'1 tall, 6'10 wide trailer. So that's what we went back to on this one. But we wanted to keep it short on the floor. So we did some things in the stall area to shorten this up, which we'll get to shortly. Underneath here, you'll notice another one of the features that we put on every single one of his trailers. And that is our air ride system. So this air ride, box we've got right over here. If you don't have as many batteries in here, you can actually put, they'll make a box that you can put the air ride system in. Your battery disconnect is gonna come standard anytime you have an electric over hydraulic jack. And this is such a nice trailer, there is no reason to have to hand crank this thing up and down. We do have a manual override so that if you ever get in a situation where somebody left a bunch of things on, and your battery's dead when you go to hook up. If you just go and try and plug it into your pickup right away and hit the button, it's likely to um, trip one of your, your uh, fuses on your truck. So we've got a manual override here and you can just pump it up and down if you need to. You can switch the direction with the little turn of this knob here 
um, so that so that you can go up or down. This air ride system is really simple to operate. So how this trailer works is it is on standard 7K rubber torsion axles. And then right on top of that is we've actually got airbags. So this tra trailer will absorb a lot of those bumps and hits that your horses would otherwise feel on a standard rubber torsion trailer. So this is gonna be a really nice trailer to pull behind you, but the biggest benefit is all those horses that you've got in the back of this trailer. They're gonna feel like they're in a nice cushioned ride. You're not gonna have to show up as early to shows to rest your horses because they've just driven down the road in a really rough, rough trailer ride. They're gonna be nice and rested and that's gonna give you a leg up on the competition. So for operation, simple on off button. Make sure you've got power coming from your battery here. And then there's a raise and a lower button. So anytime we're traveling down the road, we're gonna hit that on and switch it to raise. It's gonna inflate those airbags and you can pull it down the road just like that. Even if you're not hauling horses in this trailer, you're going to pick them up, you're still gonna wanna use that air ride. Um, you've got it, you paid for it, you might as well use it. And it's gonna help the ride of the trailer when your truck is pulling it as well. I've pulled quite a few of these Vino's air rides over the passes and there is nothing better. I will pull one of these all day long. Our GM actually has a really big 36 foot warm blood Vino's with air ride and you cannot feel it behind you. It is one of the best pulling trailers that I've ever pulled. So this little thing is gonna be really whippy for around town. Another thing we did on this trailer is a little digital combo lock. It's just a deadbolt style lock that you can add to any of your doors here. <clears throat> What's really nice about that is if you're at a show and you have multiple people getting in and out of your trailer needing access to it, you don't wanna have to worry about handing out a million different set of keys. So having a deadbolt style combo lock, you can change the combination based on, on kind of what numbers you wanna use. And it's really easy to give people access to it that you trust to be able to get in and out of your trailer. If you're going on a trail ride, last thing you wanna do is lose your keys and not be able to um, throw your saddles in here when you get back home. So it's really nice to be able to access that with one of those digital combo locks. Something that this customer did was more brush boxes on the door. So I laughed at first when he said he wanted three boxes on the door. I was like, that can't be a thing, but this is gonna be a really nice feature. Um, I was telling him yesterday how much I like having these three uh, brush boxes on the door because what do you do when you go to untack your horses? You probably tie them up or to get them saddled up and all of your stuff that you need to grab and go is right here. You don't have to worry about climbing in and out of your trailer um, to grab brushes, fly spray, shampoo, anything like that. You've got it all right here. We went for a very efficient tack room on this trailer. So the whole thing we wanted to do was we wanted to keep it similar in length to the first three horse that he had. And this is not far off of that one. You're only 24 feet, three inches on the floor. And you can haul five to six horses depending on how many you wanna cram in here. So this is a really efficient use of a tack room here. If they're only hauling a couple horses with a couple saddles, they can actually remove this one, give themselves a little more floor space but if they're hauling a bunch of head somewhere, they can have this saddle rack in here and be able to haul all their tack. It's not gonna give you a lot of extra room for um, additional supplies in here, but that's really not the purpose of this trailer. This is a runaround trailer so that he can move horses back and forth efficiently and he's gonna really like how it pulls. So lots and lots of bridle hooks. We've got a corner water tank, it's a 25 gallon on a stand back in that corner there. So they can bring their own water from home. They don't have to worry about um, having to haul buckets that shows over to their trailer and fill it up nice and easy. And then in this actual trailer, one of the things you miss out on on this V nose, you'll see all the additional structure you've got in this nose um, is light. So one of the things we did is even though we're only a three foot short wall on this front tack here, We've got two of these big Optibrite lights in here, throwing a lot of light 
Uh, we had this trailer in the shop yesterday going through it and we had these lights on and it's, it's plenty easy to see everything that you need to see on this trailer. This right here is your little Max air fan. So one of the things that we like to do on these trailers is get some airflow going through them so that if you've got a lot of saddle pads in here after a ride, you can get them dried out so that when you get them home, um, they're nice and dry, don't smell up your trailer too much. So that Max air fan will work off of the 12 volt or the battery and it's going to pull a lot of air in here, get everything dried out. Especially if you're in a more humid climate, it's really nice to be able to move that air in and out of this trailer. On the floor here, upgraded to rubber mats on the floor instead of carpet. Um, this is the, one of the easiest things I think people can do to improve their trailers. It is a very inexpensive upgrade and it's so much easier to keep clean. I've got this on my Cimarron at home and that's really, really nice where I live because I've got a lot of goat heads and what I hate more than anything is tracking a bunch of goat heads in and out of carpet. So this makes it really easy to clean up. If I spill anything on it, it's really easy to clean as well. So as we move along here, you'll notice a few other upgrades. If you look up on the top rail there, you're going to see a lot, a lot of lights. So one of the things that this customer loves is it a really bright trailer to be able to see what's going on. He's told me before that at shows, people will actually park next to him so that they can benefit from all of the light that his trailer throws off. So that's a really, really cool feature. We did three of these big, bright 16-inch awning lights on each side. We've got one underneath the nose, and then we've got them on the rear as well. And then in addition to that, we've also got all these little button lights running up and down the top rail, as well as this center indicator light here, right in front of the wheel wells. So nobody's going to be able to say that they can't see this trailer going down the road. <laughs> it's going to be bright like a Christmas tree. It's going to look really, really good pulled behind their truck. But it's a nice safety aspect, um, especially at night. The last thing you want to do is worry about people not being able to see you getting over and driving down the highway. So as much as it's going to be a really cool trailer to look at, it is a really great safety feature for this. So on this trailer here, the wheels and tires, we've got 17.5 Coopers. The aluminum wheels come standard on this trailer. You've actually got quite a few different options for your wheels and tires that Cimarron offers. So if you're looking to go really fancy, maybe some Continentals with Alcoas, we've got that option. Or we can do the standard um, wheels and tires that, that Cimarron has. Every single tire that they've got uh, comes with nitrogen filled. And on cold days like today, I mean, we started out really cold this morning, bitter cold. It's starting to warm up. Hopefully we'll get a lot warmer today. And if you were pulling down the road, maybe you're heading somewhere a lot warmer, you're gonna want that nitrogen in there so that you don't have to worry about it expanding and contracting quite as much as regular air so that you don't have to worry about blowouts. One of the things that we did on this trailer is that we also put it on the alignment machine. So every single used trailer that comes through TransWest, any new trailers over 26 feet and anything with air ride gets put on our alignment machine. Cimarron has a pretty good um, ability to have these uh, axles nice and straight running down the road, but we're, we have just one step further so that you're going to get nice even tire wear on your trailers. Um, if you are concerned about tire wear on your trailers and you've had it, you can always schedule an appointment with our shop to have the alignment checked and these trailers realigned if you need that. They're just like passenger vehicles. I think what a lot of people fail to recognize is that they need to be pulled straight down the road just like anything else. So having that option um, is just a really, really nice feature here. That is something that most shops are not capable of doing, and it's something that we're really proud of. On this hip side here, you can see that we did drop downs on every single hip here. If this trailer goes down to a warm climate, um, they're not going to have any issues with airflow. These horses are going to stay nice and cool on this trailer and they're going to be able to get a lot of air moving in and out. 
Every single Cimarron comes standard with an insulated Fibrotec roof. So right off the bat, you're gonna start off a lot cooler than a lot of other trailer brands. I love that roof that Cimarron has because you can actually um, walk up and down this roof without having to look for the roof bows because it's, it's nice and strong. We have a lot of issues with hail in this part of the country and that roof is extremely resistant to hail. So lots of great benefits there. It's actually gonna keep it a little quiet in there. It's got insulating properties. So we love these Cimarron roofs. But between the roof, these big drop downs on the head and the hip and the roof vents, you're never gonna pull a horse off this trailer hot. The actual stall area is also lined and insulated. So they, they have insulation and then they, do, they line it with this white aluminum sheet on the inside. Kick mats go all the way up, 48 inches high on the head side, 54 on the head side. And then something else that they did on this trailer is stud dividers every single, single stall. So these are spring-loaded dividers. We're on a little bit of a slant here but you'll see that all the way to the front, you've got these big stud dividers, padded. These horses are gonna have a really, really nice ride. So we did corner feed bags on each stall. These are actually smaller than our standard stall. So I mentioned earlier that we did a couple things on this trailer to make it more uh, compact but still be able to haul a lot of horses. So smaller front tack, but also standard width for our Cimarron stalls is 39 inches. These are actually 36. These are smaller horses that he's putting in here, but he doesn't feel like he will have any trouble loading a bigger rope horse in here if he needed to. So this is something that we did. We cut down um, about three inches off of each stall. That, that rear stall is actually quite a bit bigger um, in the event that he ever needs to stuff another one in here, going somewhere, he's got a second drop down on this last stall, as well as quite a bit more room. We have 63 inches back here, uh, so there's plenty of room to haul two horses should he need to. Two drop downs will make it nice and comfortable for them. He can throw water or give them water or throw food in there for them pretty easily. Rear ramp is something that we do on every one of their trailers. Uh, these ramps are really nice because you've actually got a rubberized texture on these ramps. So on days like today where we had just washed this trailer, um, so it has the ability to pick up some ice there. I have these really nice slick boots on and I didn't have any trouble getting up and down this ramp. So just imagine your big thousand pound furry friends are going up and down that ramp. Um, I, we don't want them slipping up and down it. It's something that's really, really nice to have. So on the rear here, um, we have these 6040 doors, window on these doors here. So you've got a window on each side, more airflow. Really, really great little ad there. And then something that's a little hard to see just because I've got these doors swung open. Let me go and go ahead and close this one here. Is we've actually got backup lights. So something that we've been doing on a lot of our trailers here is backup lights. Really, really uh, inexpensive add-on. And what's nice about it is when you throw your pickup in reverse, these will come on, they're nice and bright. You don't have to run all the way around the back of your trailer and flip lights on if you need to see where you're going to back up at night. Easy angle ladder here on the side with, a, we did a nine foot hay rack. It's sheeted and color matched so that it looks really streamlined going down the road. He's gonna be able to throw a lot of bales of hay up here. Once again, we wanted to keep this thing streamlined, but we still need to be able to feed those horses. So that hay rack was a very necessary add-on. Big drop-down windows on the head side. 
as I mentioned, you've got that extra drop down here in the event that he ever decides to add an extra horse on that rear. Big three awning lights on this side as well. And then once again, all of these uh, running lights up top. So this trailer is really decked out. If you need to feed and water your horses, it's really easy just to pop these up. These jail bars are all one solid piece. You don't have to worry about pulling a string or anything like that to get these down. It's one of the things that I really love about Cimarron's is their craftsmanship is really, really great. You're gonna see really, really nice welds on these trailers. They have all these extrusions and dies for their trailers so that everything is interlocking. Essentially, we've got one big puzzle piece. Uh, you're not gonna have to see a lot of exterior welds. So it's gonna be nice and clean. Everything's done on the inside. I think hands down the Cimarron's are one of the best looking trailers out there. But more importantly, the reason that I pull a Cimarron is that they're one of the safest out there. So everything from the floor up is designed to be safe and usable for your horses. And that's what's really important to us because these horses are trusting us to load them in on these trailers that are going 70 miles down the highway per hour down the highway. So we want them to be nice and safe and trust us when we put them in these, these big metal spaceships. So if you guys are looking for a really efficient runaround trailer, one of the best hauling trailers I'm sure out there, this is a really great design to take a look at. Like I said, this one is not available. It's already got somebody's name on it, but we can build you one just like it. So. If you're looking for a runaround, this is a really great option. If you guys have any questions on this trailer, the design process, or you want to see kind of what our inventory looks like here at TransWest, you can always give me a call. My name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970-309-6368. I can text or take calls at that number. So really easy to get a hold of me. If you guys want to reference this trailer here for from the video so we have a starting point just go ahead and tell us the stock number is 5n 221619 it is a 2023 Cimarron North Star 5 slash 6 horse gooseneck it's a 5 horse gooseneck um, but we can pull the spec sheets on this one and get you a really good starting point so thank you for taking our tour today I know it was a long one but this is a really cool trailer with lots of options so I hope everybody has a really great day and stays nice and warm thanks